Hi, I'm Saverio from Hornet Plugins, and I'm here because we have a new plugin which is called Hornet Balance EQ. Its duty is to give your tracks the right tonal balance, and we do this with six band of equalization which are completely transparent on your side and uh, first the plugin learns your audio then it analyzes the spectrum characteristics and compares that to some reference values at this point it sets each of the bands to the right gain to make sure that your audio conforms as much as possible with uh, um, the slope of a noise with the negative 4.5 dB octave, which is the slope that most of good sounding music has today. So without further ado, I will show you the UI of the plugin. So it will be pretty easy to understand how the plugin works. This is the UI of Balance EQ. It's pretty simple. You have just one control, which is Reset, that uh, allows the plugin to start the analysis again. This is the instance I have on the master bus of this mix because uh, it's uh, the best point to show you how the plugin works because we have most of the bands with some content. And we have our six bands, one at the frequency of 200 hertz, the other one at 400 hertz, 800 hertz, one kilohertz and 60, three kilohertz and two, and six kilohertz and 400 hertz. Both the lowest and the highest band are shelf bands, and the other ones are a classic parametric uh, belts. Each of these bands has a Q of uh, 0.5 because we want to have broad cues. We want to give a tonal shape, not fix some problems in the audio. So we need to have broad cues. What you see here is the level in a UFS of each of, the, of these bands, the yellow bars represent the level. The signal, uh, this is not the actual level of the signal, but the level of the whole signal once it's normalized to negative 24 LUFS integrated. This is because we need to have a reference for our sound to be able to make uh, a Q adjustment. So we start uh, first analyzing your signal, then evaluating the the signal level in the uh, UFS integrated, and then we uh, split the whole signal into six bands and analyze the level of each of these bands separately. So the first here in the first the band we see the 200 hertz band. We are actually at negative 30 LA UFS, while we should be at negative 27 to conform with that audio. So our track is lacking in bass and. The next bar shows the amount of a Q that is being applied. Since we are at negative 30, our plugin applies 3 dB of correction to this band so that the signal is brought up here. Next, we have 400 Hz. You see, we have a couple of dB more, but we are not correcting because the difference is not that much and we don't want to create some drastic changes to your sound. So we only correct bands that actually need to be corrected. Also keep in mind that we may correct 1.5 dB here and it's not shown because uh, the meter shows full dBs. And then we move forward. We have the 1 kilohertz and 600 hertz band that it's above its um, recommended value. So we correct them with negative gain and so on. And this is after having analyzed the band. So just make sure you understand what we're talking about. This is how the track sounds without uh, balance EQ because it's actually bypassed. So you can hear how it sounds. Let's wait for the drums to come in and then we trigger our balance EQ on. 
So we got a little bit of intro. I don't have vocals in this track, but of course the plugin works fine for vocals too. So this is the track. It's pretty unbalanced, as you can hear. It's not uh, really well balanced, but I can enable the plugin and we get a completely different sound. I'm gonna pass it again. And again. So I think it's definitely more professional, more good sounding. It's less harsh, it's better overall. And if I would like to analyze the track again, I just have to press reset. And the plugin start the analysis mode when it's actually measuring the LFS. So I will press play so it can measure the LFS. Now it waits for the ULFS to uh, settle to a definite level because we need to normalize it first. So we have to learn enough audio to say, okay, the track is at this level. Now it sets the filters. As you can see, we got a different result because uh, we have analyzed a different part of the song from which I used uh, before, which was the chorus of the track. Uh, at this point, uh, the track is two parts to give uh, a very good representation of it. So I will go to this marker and try to learn it again. setting up again okay so this time we gave a really high boost in the low frequency area and some other fixes the part you use to learn your audio is pretty important in this plugin um, because it has to represent uh, the balance you have to go after so this time I use probably another part uh, I don't remember the part I've used uh, the, first, the first time I tried that, but uh, you can reset it and try it with another, another part. Uh, probably you have to use half chorus and half um, verse to make sure that all the sound of the track is represented correctly. But this is something more of a trial and error, uh, but make sure to use uh, the most representative part of your track to um anal for analysis so this is hornet balance eq it can drastically change and improve your sound with just one click uh so it's very easy to use strap it on every track this is uh actually on every track of the mix than on the buses and on the master bus uh, to make sure that the balance is constantly kept around the mix and uh, it makes my mix sound much better and it probably makes your mix uh, sound better too. We have a demo for this track, for this plugin, sorry. So uh, you can go to our website, www.honeplugins.com and you can try it out, of course. We have audio demos if you want to hear, to hear how it works on single instruments. Um, so you can try it out and you can listen to the demos, try out the plugin and of course, Comment here below. Uh, we want to know if you like the plugin, how you use it, and if you have suggestions, feel free to let them to let us know. We are more than happy to add add feature uh, if they are requested. So 
don't be uh, ashamed and please let us know. Thank you very much for watching this video.